heel work is such an important part and I build so much off, off of it and such an emphasis. And this is nothing more than an extended heel, in my opinion. The dog is gonna mirror me. She's gonna shadow me a bit. So I just healed her all the way out here and she did a really nice job. That's step one of my cycle. Good control, good heel work. She's stretched out, we're ready to go. I'm gonna release her and I'm gonna start to actually angle myself. So the idea is get the dog to mimic and help the dog. Get the dog to go out in a certain direction because I'm going in a certain direction. And then I'm gonna hit the whistle. And when I do that, it gets my dog's attention. Just before I hit that whistle, I change directions and I'm going the other way. So beep beep, and she turns and looks at me because she was going that way with me. And then she saw, oh my God, he's going the other way. So she turns and she comes with me and I go, good, good. And then she starts moving and she's just doing her own thing. And I turn and she looks and she sees me and she goes, he's going the other way. So then she starts to shadow me back and forth and back and forth. And ideally she starts to understand it's really good for me to sweep this area in front of him. He actually is sweeping it with me. My sweep can be less and less and hers continues to be the same. I slowly get to the point where I less and less of a, of a guidance for them. I start to narrow and work straight and the dog continues the pattern. And every time I beep beep, she get, can't help but change directions. Cause every time she heard that beep beep, dad went the other way. So I gotta see, I gotta do the same thing. It becomes a habit. So we're gonna work her down this field. I'm gonna work her back and then I'm gonna go around. And as I do that, you guys can slowly move and then kind of be at the crown of the field. As I come back, I'm gonna flush, hopefully flush this quail right back up towards you, okay? Uh, Todd, Wyatt, Chris, help out with any, if you got questions, ask them to these guys, because this is something I'm gonna kind of check out from you guys on. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey! So we just come off of a bunch of drills and she goes, he goes, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find something. Come on. Good. Come on. Here. She smells the birds in the boat. He's got the birds in the boat. Where's she going? Good nose. Where's the wind? Coming this direction. Coming this direction. All right, let's go. Good. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Good. Come on. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's where you had the bird pen. Good. Let's go. Good. Good, let's go. Good, come on. Yeah. Good. Good, let's go. Good. Good. Here. 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 Good. Good. She got too far on me. Restart. Good. All right, let's go. Here. Good. Good.
Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In this stuff? Should I, like right in the middle here? So I should go all the way to the end. All right, let's go. Alright, let's go. There she's touching scent. She's touching scent! Let's go. Bird just don't right here. Let's go. You run over another one? There's touch scent. Get it. 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 That's a good girl. Get it. Callie, get it. Get it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Get it, get it, good girl. Get it, good girl. Get it, good girl. That's a good girl, what did you got? Good girl. Get it, good girl. That's a good dog. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good girl, come on, come on. Get it, good girl, come on. That's a good dog, come on, come on. Let's go, get it, get it, good girl. Right here, come on, good girl. Come on, come on. Callie, here, good girl. Not sure what to do with it. Why doesn't this thing fly away from me? If I, if that bird got up and flew, she'd get it. She goes, it's sitting right here. Let's go, let's go, find it, find it. Good girl, good dog. That's it, come on, here, 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 come on. Come on, let's go, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Good girl. Good girl, good dog, that's it, come on. Good girl, here, here, Callie, come on. Come on, come on, come on, get it, Callie. Good dog, that's a good girl. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, good girl, 
Good dog. Come on, get it. Come on, get it. That's a good girl. Get it, good girl, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, let's get it, come on, let's get it. Come on, let's get it. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, good girl, right here. Come on, right here, good. Get him on, get it. That's a good girl. <laughs> Kelly, good girl. Find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl! That's it, come on, come on! Good girl! She don't like your quail. Come on, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Sit. Hold, 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 hold. Good girl, ready? Ready? Kelly. Good girl. Get it, get it, get it, Kelly. She really doesn't want to put that bird in her mouth for whatever reason. Good girl, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <coughs> Kelly, Kelly, get it. Find it. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl, that's it. Good girl, that's it. Good dog. Here, 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 yeah. Let's go find that second one. All right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, find it. Let's go, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. That's it, good dog. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Get it, Kelly, get it. Good girl, that's it, good girl. All right, let's go, let's go, find it. Find it, Kelly. Lost, 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 lost. Good girl. Right here. Good girl. Right here. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Get it. Get it, Kelly. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Good dog. Come on. She just doesn't like that quail. Good girl. Okay, let's bring it back. Now, I think two things were going against me. One, I couldn't get that bird up to fly. It's wet. It's just not going to fly. Which is the issue that we had. It's the same issue we had with a pheasant when a pheasant won't fly. I had talked about it before. When those pheasants just run, she looks at them and goes, I don't know what to do with you. When those pheasants flush and fly and we shoot them, she understands it because we we shoot stuff and it falls and she picks them up and she brings them back. She's not, she's not clicking the part of, if it doesn't fly, I should grab it and bring it back. So that's what we're working on. But in the beginning, so that drill wasn't about that. That drill was about get out and sweep. Read your body language. I could tell when she got birdie. She just didn't know what to do with it when she got birdie. She had no interest in that. So that's where we have to unlock another door with her. We gotta get that freed up a little bit. And pen birds aren't doing it for her. That hurt, that hurt, that's, that's not a positive, that was a fine, that was a fine display of quartering. I had no problem with that, which was the goal. Now it's, what do you do when you quarter? It's a lot like retrieve, it's like a three part, 
series here. If you are trying to train your dog to retrieve and it runs out to get stuff but won't bring it back, you have part of the puzzle. You're missing a very important part of it that is that puts the period at the end of the sentence. We're missing the part of the period of the sentence, which is, if the birds don't fly, what should I do with them? If those birds flew, we'd have been in a, a lot better shape. And if you watch the series with her with those pheasants, you'll see that. As long as those birds don't run away from her, it looks like she's a bird dog. But as soon as those birds won't flush, she's not there yet. Here's another good, here's another good example of she's not there yet. But is she closer? For sure. Because at least she's not in, in my pocket anymore. And she responded pretty nice. I liked her range. She got a little far. We recalled her back. We started back over. I thought she did a nice job there. It's now we just got to get the next part. It's, it's another link in the chain that we got to build before we can connect it. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of the process that I'm in right in the middle right now. It, you know, for a split second there, when she wouldn't pick that quail up, I got, I was bothered by it. Only because 25 people were watching. If it were me by myself and there was no camera and there was no crowd, I'd have thought, no big deal. I really like the quartering. We just got to, I got to figure out a way to unlock this now. Boy, she just doesn't like those birds if they don't fly. I got to figure out how to do it. It wouldn't have bothered me much. It bothered me for a little bit. How come? Because I had some people that were watching. And what do they think? God, he's a dog trainer. His dog won't even pick up a quail. Yeah. Guilty. And so I used to let stuff. Uh, this morning we were looking at, we were going to have uh, reviews. Uh, we got this. Wyatt's really helped me out here. Putting them putting to work this weekend. We're going to have a questionnaire at the end that we're going to, be putting together to send out because we had one in the past and we didn't even realize that I had sent it out. That's just how good I am at this stuff. I, I guess I sent it out last time because we had responses and I didn't know we sent it out. So why it goes, oh man, you did send it out last. I got seven people that replied to it. So we're reading through it and six out of seven were really nice, really nice responses, really nice replies. Um, those moments you know, make you feel really good. And then there was one there was one that had some things that I did not think were very positive. They weren't very positive. And I talked about that one for 25 straight minutes of, I can't believe he didn't, I can't believe he thought that. Boy, we, what the hell did we do wrong? He missed the, he said that because he didn't understand that this is what I was trying. All I did was spend all my energy thinking about that one guy that wasn't satisfied. And you know what? It was sent in an email, so maybe I read it. Maybe we were just reading it wrong. I don't know. But either way, whether it was or wasn't, my focus was not on the six positives. It was on the one negative. I was worried about what other people thought. I have to develop a level of confidence to say, not everybody's going to like what I do. Not everybody's going to like how I do it. That's okay. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody to watch me and go, his dog doesn't know how to pick up a quail that's planted. That's okay. Because the real value I see in this session was probably things really don't go, he says things don't go all right all the time. They really don't. How do you build off of it? What do you, what do you take from it that's positive? So that's okay. I'm over it. Uh, I always used to tell my kid, Mason, my son's a lot like me in a lot of ways. Uh, he used to pitch. I, remember, I mean, he hasn't played baseball in 10 years. But when he was little, he, everybody played baseball, and he played baseball too. And he used to be a pitcher. And I thought he could be pretty good. You know, I was, I was maybe that dad. He's really good. Yeah, he was okay. But he, was, he would pitch, and I would get so frustrated watching him because he would get so frustrated pitching that he couldn't throw that ball because the last one wasn't where he wanted it and he couldn't figure out how to let that go. He couldn't figure it out. And I kept telling him, man, good pitchers have really short memories. 
You don't even think about the last pitch. You just worry about what's coming now. Like, you gotta have a shorter memory, Mason. You gotta have a shorter memory, Mason. Man, did I gripe about it. Where did he get it from? I gotta have a, man, Jeremy, you gotta have a shorter memory. That memory, I, I'm, I'm past that. It's water under the bridge. It's a reminder of what I gotta work on. And the time frame that I have to do it with her is limitless. Although her owner wanted to pick her up for the weekend, they were gracious enough to let me use her for the weekend. So she's not going anywhere anytime soon. And when, when it's about the time I quit worrying about how long is it gonna take, it'll happen. The best way to speed up is to slow down. Sounds counterproductive in dogs, it's 100% the way to do it. You wanna get going faster, slow down, because that's probably the problem. And about the time you quit worrying about it, it'll happen. Watch pot never boils. We gotta get these dogs to develop at their pace and we just gotta be there with them to support them. So that's a, now I feel good about that session. That was a really good lesson for her. That was really good. It was intentional so you guys could see me make a mistake. Let's